To settle my debt, I give you a very expensive blueprint. For free! Because I like you. <laughs> and well, a lot of my customers don't live long with these grenier dogs chewing up the system. Here, use your foundry to build a countermeasure device from this blueprint. Good luck. Vor's Ascaris is burrowing into your Warframe. I'm worried it will affect your mind. I can't lose you, Tenno. We must restore the ship's foundry immediately. A nearby ore extraction colony will have the foundry technology you need. I am certain they will share it with you. Its location has been added to your navigation console. Greetings. What piques your interest this fine day? Grendel. Primal. Insatiable. And, as this exhibit will demonstrate, a creature of surprising compassion. After the fall of the Orokin Empire, a surviving Orokin executor a violet-scented brute named Karish lorded over Europa's frozen, famine-struck city of Rida, Save within his walled manse, the moist and loathsome Karish lived a lavish life, while his frail citizens obeyed every edict in the hope of receiving his pre-masticated table scraps. As the city starved beneath him, Karish commanded yet another feast for himself and his gluttonous sycophants. Twelve courses for each of his twelve grafted digestive sacks, and one, one uninvited guest. There remains a shallow trench through the ruins, as if some colossal boulder had crashed from the manse and rolled down the hill. But what if it had rolled up? Imagine, if you will, Karish's Dax on the day, peering out, dumbstruck by what they saw. They readied no blade, sounded no alarm, as the expanding orb of gristle hurled toward them. And then, in a spasm of giblets, Grendel was before them, his 
cutlery in hand. The Masseter. Scraps of cloth matching Grendel's unexpectedly elegant Cyandana were retrieved from the site, hooked on the remnants of gilded gates, stained with evidence of his degustation. Indeed, most of the Orokin hangers-on who attended the feast became it, and Karish himself fled shrieking into the hills of Ridda as fast as his twelve exosac levitators would carry him. It came as no surprise to me to find this tiny fragment of Gauss just outside the city. Indeed, if one thing is for certain, wherever we find evidence of Grendel, we're sure to find some trace of Gauss as well. Did they breach the city as a pair? Or did Gauss hang back to intercept returning patrols, generously letting his friend Grendel eat his fill at the feast within? Note the open face, almost more like design. A fitting visage for one of such singular, rapacious predilections. Grendel may hunger, yes, but not with the excesses of gluttony, not when others are in need. Oral history tells of Grendel, newly engorged from his repast, rolling through the miserable slums of Ridda, reinvigorating the sick and the lame, the hungry and the dying with the power he had stolen, consumed, from their oppressors. Here we have shattered fragments of the manse wall and the gate mangled by Grendel's masseter blade. One can almost see the city's masses, newly rejuvenated by Grendel's healthful blessing, Storming the manse, shattered gates thrown wide, they take back what was theirs, namely, control of their future. See here, the scattering of genuine Orokin dinnerware. Worn with time, these must have been used for countless meals, as the people of Ridda bravely weathered the dark times ahead. Many warframes have speed and litheness, but power, momentum, impact, these require mass. And there, the creased midsection, the seam, does it split? Yawning open with a jagged, vacuous aperture to, to who knows? A certain Orokin may have found out. That night, the people of Ridda ate their fill feasting until the frozen mountains lit warmly with the dawn. It was toward those roseate peaks that the executor had fled, pursued by Grendel. What his fate was, I cannot say. But as the people feasted, so the story goes, they were suddenly struck silent by a strange, deep sound. A rumble carried from mountain to mountain. A single, satisfied, Belch! <laughs> <laughs> 